May I come in, sir? Yes, please. Jain sir, Jain ma'am. Where do you think Indian education system lacks? Uh, in so many villages, there are no school, good schools. Even and there are so many staffs who take leaves. And even if they come to the school, they won't able to teach the student because they don't have a proper education. So, Mr. Atulya Bhatnagar, you have mentioned in your CV problem solver and a quick learner. So, how many problems you have solved earlier? For example, I have to sell the personality development course. And their ideal customer avatar can be a student, a working professional who wants to improve his communication skills. So that okay, also. Mr. Adul, my next question is, why did you quit? I am serving in Indian Army nowadays and uh, since uh, 2021. Okay, so Mr. My last question, where do you see you after five years? May I come in, sir? Come in. Good morning, sir. Good morning, ma'am. Good morning, ma'am. Thank you. This is my resume. So, Mr. Atulli Bhatnagar, tell me about this. Uh, first of all, thank you for giving me this opportunity. I am Atulli Bhatnagar and I am right now 23 years old. And I am from Delhi, right? And uh, my qualification is that I have completed my graduation B.Tech from Electronics and Communication Engineering from IPEX Saibabad. And currently I am a graduated student. And my hobbies are that I love to travel and as well as to listen music. So, and my goal is that I want to become a digit uh, successful digital marketer. So that's it. So, please describe digital marketing in your own words. Okay. So, digital marketing is something that we can market something digitally, right? As we know that previously we used to see newspapers, magazines, people used to advertise that in newspapers and in an offline mode by banners or you can say posters, right? But nowadays things are changed. We can market all the things through social media, through website, through YouTube. So that is all about digital marketing, marketing something digitally. So how did you start it in your career? Okay, so I started digital marketing. I was into sales previously. Uh, I worked as a freelancer in sales and there I used to sell the program of digital marketing. So first I used to sell that. Then one day I was just seeing and going through the program of which I used to sell. Then I find it very interesting. Okay, so that's how the journey started of my digital marketing. First, I used to sell and then I was be like that. I want, I also want to do this. I also want to learn digital marketing. That's how the journey started. Okay, uh, you are currently working <coughs> in Unicorn Company Private Limited. Uh, I, uh, it was my past company. I am currently, uh, you can say, at my home only. But it, you, you said here, you are working here from 2021 to present in your CV. Would you like to explain this? Okay. Basically, it is like that uh, I have present, I have written that thing there. But it was be like that when I made this resume, no? that that time it was there. How you sell a product in a digital market? Okay. Can you please tell? So, to sell a product, we first need to identify that who is our target audience. Right. We need to take care of the things. For example, there is something called ideal customer avatar. So we have to make that ideal customer avatar. For example, I have to sell the personality development course and th there are ideal customer avatar can be a student, a working professional who wants to improve his communication skills, who want to improve his personality, right? So we have to make that ideal customer avatar and then we can plan all the things that what is their requirement. If you are planning to sell that online, then we can test also by making some websites and maybe you can test all the things but the main thing which comes is testing we have to test the product and make the target audience accordingly so what sort of products okay what sort of, it can be a course it can be a ebook it can be a you can say software anything we can sell online digitally what sort of product you are focusing uh currently the core 
द प्रोडक्ट विच आई एम फोकसिंग अपॉन इज अ कोर्स और कैन से लाइफ कोर्स बिकॉज आई एम वेरी पैशनेट अबाउट कोचिंग टू टीच सम वन बट दैट इज कम्प्लीटली अ पार्ट टाइम आई एम स्टिल प्लानिंग इट मे बी आई विल डू इट और मे बी आई विल नॉट डू इट सो दैट इज सो मिस्टर अतुल्य भटनागर यू हैव मैंशन इन यूर सी वी प्रॉब्लम सोल्व एंड अ क्विक लर्नर so how many problems you have solved earlier okay so let me tell you this thing basically previously when i was into sales na when i used to sell digital marketing product uh, the main problem which was coming is customer were not buying that so it was like a, you can say jugad matlab basically it was like ki i analyze something i analyze that why people are not buying so there we find out that we are more focusing upon pushing someone to buy it but after that we made a page on instagram we made a audience on instagram and by through, through that we advertised we started advertising our product and th- there we are finding leads which are coming to ourselves matlab it was be like ki we are not forcing anyone people are automatically coming to us because of that advertisement so that was a major problem coming in the course right so i solved that and i think that was the biggest problem and we got result after that would you like to tell me about the challenges or conflict you have faced at your work <coughs> while selling your product to the customers okay my challenges were that uh, i was so honest in my work that my quality is that i am very honest person right so i was be like if something there is there if there is any fault na in the program or you can say q and a sessions were not going on or you can say people are not getting by matlab basically proper support so there was a customer that uh, the problem which i was facing is that ki i didn't sell that program to that person because of my honesty because inside i was feeling like that uh, i think that will not be a good thing but i have heard from somewhere is and according to some people's experience then it, that in sales you need to be sharp and sometime you have to do like you have to sell them by hook or crook so that was okay, mr adul my next question is why did you quit your last job actually i quit because of the work environment was not good right and i have to switch my profile also previously i was into sales <laughs> but uh, now i want to come in your company as a digital marketer executive so that is the thing uh, how can you say that uh, the environment is not good as per the, the okay as per the candidate it was like i was suffering from some mental health issues okay. so people were like using abusive languages the the work environment was not that much cool like you can say that was greenery was not there and so i went felt good because they out, apart from when they had they used to have a lunch break right they used to smoke cigarette some of the colleagues and of mine so i was not feeling comfortable because i i don't do not do these kinds of things well, but there at that places at that working places there is a separate zone of uh, we can say that uh, it's a smoking zone it's a it's a separate uh, space which are especially provided for smoking purpose so i think uh, because not everyone follows the rules na they are like that we are open we will so smoke anywhere they smoke on the desk not desk but when i we used to go for the lunch or you can say break and uh, the point is that if you are if you are not finding the people of of that much good nature na that much supportiveness so you are so, going for there for working or to find the nature or to check the nature uh because according to me i personally feel is that to work somewhere you need to have that environment with you and if the environment or there the people around you are not supportive because it is not about sitting on the laptop and working eight hours i am not that kind of a person i am like ki i should have a good environment people should be of a good nature supportive nature and then i will go for something so work environment for me matters the most and that's that's it okay so mr my last question where do you see your after 5 year uh, as i have applied to your company so i see myself after 5 years as a marketing head in your company because i have seen your profile and social media accounts that you are looking for someone that who can promote you digitally who can make the your services your products to market digitally something right all the product and services so i am like that i can play that role and i see myself in your company as a marketing head in upcoming few years 
describe your mark uh, describe your leadership style <coughs> describe can you pardon what i uh, pardon you were if you were assigned as a leader to a team how would you handle it okay so if i got a opportunity to lead someone as i was into sale i used to handle some people as i mentioned it in resume also so first of all to be a leader means to take the responsibility right so i will play the role of responsible person that whatever happens in my team if they are doing something it is my responsibility whether it is like they have commit any mistake that will be my responsibility that it is my team they are all right my... everybody please give me a round of applause for the leader of target okay that's nice his body language was on point and confident enough and his words uh, shows clarity what going on his mind i uh, he is good in fluency but he is using right uh, this is right uh, na using from words in filler is interview that's a uh, and uh, all is good as per my observation hand gesture should be not like that like that it was and uh, uh, you are using right okay sales na uh, if there is only uh, fault na that should be not mentioned yes. here and uh, fluent and good confident yes. good answer your grammar is okay little bit weak and fluency entry is good the body language is good but i'm talking i'm like uh, agree with mr sure. your body gesture yeah and hand movement this is not good as per me and uh, confidence is okay confidence is okay all right okay please put your hands together for atiya may i come in sir yes please Good morning, sir. Good morning, ma'am. Here is my receipt. Have a seat, please. Thank you, sir. So, Miss Simra. Yes, sir. Tell me about yourself. Thank you, sir, for giving me that opportunity. My name is Simran Mishra, and I am 19 years old. And right now, I am doing BCom from Aryabhatta uh, Delhi University, and I have completed my DLL in this year. and i am uh, looking for a job as a prt teacher so miss simran as you write your skills you are a best teacher you having best teacher techniques yes sir so can you please define yes i can uh, uh, as i mentioned in my res uh, resume that uh, i have experience i am a trainee so and at that time i got a award for a best trainee teacher so i can handle students at a third more than 30 student at a time even if they are included some students like they are disabled so i have that techniques also so tell me another thing <laughs> how can you observe a, a kid a student who is uh, uh, who is who having his first day in school uh, so i don't get that if a, if a student is a new student yes, and sir. his first day inside the school how can you manage or how can you observe how can you manage the whole thing so if first he's a new student okay and his first day firstly i will introduce him or her to the class and then tell him about what is happening in the class and what we are studying and try to be friendly with him and give him a good environment so that he or she can mm -hmm. be comfortable okay how did you hear about this position so i have applied for it by uh, a uh, checking it's online and then i'll apply it because i need that job so just like you need a freshy fresh tea freshy tea fresh trainer teacher so i as i mentioned in my resume that i have experience so you have mentioned that you need a experienced teacher so that's i'll apply for it what are your good strengths <laughs> sir i'm punctual and i'm creative and i'm a good problem solver what is your biggest accomplishment ma'am at the time of my training i got the award as a best trainee teacher that i think that's my biggest accomplishment apart from this apart from this i uh, at my school time i played for my uh, delhi state kabaddi team in women's so miss simran mishra trainee teacher yes sir. what do you mean by trainee teacher 
so trainee teachers who are freshers and who is taking a trainee a training for being a good teacher in future that's good your achievements participated tell us something about kabaddi so kabaddi is a team game uh, there is a two teams who played opposite opposite to each other and each team have uh, 12 players uh, and seven were playing the uh, ground and the left five are in substitute teams uh, there is a match of uh, 30 to 30 minutes and some rules are like uh, there are some lines uh, end end line back line bonus line and mid line and lobby so if a uh, raider of opposite team coming in the uh, court of uh, opponent team they have to touch a player and go back to their team if they want to be safe my last question is uh, like a situational question yes sir uh, in recent times uh, children's like uh, they are using more phones yes sir they are 24 into 7 hours they are using phones and uh, if they face uh, sleeplessness yes sir and uh, they face problem of uh, stress in school also so yes. how you will manage sir first of all i will tell all my students about the consequences to this using ex extra time phone i will tell them about that and tell them if you don't get your lunch then you can go and get this thing also suppose if it, if that school is not government school it's a private school then okay. what will you then i will talk to him that why would he do that and then i will give him a lunch or from the canteen and i will arrange it from for him by your own self yeah by my own self where do you think indian education system lacks indian education system lacks by a good teacher i think there is a need of a good teacher to all indian education system uh, in so many villages there are no school good schools even and there are so many staffs who take leaves and even if they come to the school they won't able to teach the student because they don't have a proper education so i think good staff and good teacher is must needed in academic terms in academic terms i think uh, education lacks because uh, in villages not every people uh, get the chance to learn properly or they don't get the chance to be literate properly that's why i think uh, as you said uh, there is lack of good teachers yes sir uh, what would you like you feel behind the lack of good teacher is uh, low salary the i think maybe it's be a reason but i don't think lack of good teachers of good uh, not enough salary some of corruption is also a reason uh, in some some areas there is a reserve seat some people got easily jobs for the salary and but they have not qualified each that's may also reason what change you will make if you be become a education minister if i become a education minister i will try that uh, in every school be there is a good teacher i will i will try to check their profiles if they are enough qualified or not before appointing in the school so infrastructure of school is not a, a job of a teacher i my talk i am giving you a hypothetical situation if you are become a education minister okay i am talking about your sector and i am talking about education suppose then you have extreme powers yes, in the sir. field of education yes sir then you should take some sort of decisions okay so i am talking about that so if i have that power then i will try to try to give some extra facilities for more disabled student because right now universalization is ahead and every student have the right to learn with the normal students so i will try that every schools will get those facilities for all the disabled students so that they can also learn in every schools with normal people and they don't feel discriminated at that moment what do you think about pdms pdms is it beneficial i think it's beneficial because teacher have to make a good relationship with the parents also if they don't get what their students and what the children are doing with their parents and how they are behaving so teacher can't relate with them in the school situations also what are you looking for in a new position 
this position in which you are applying correctly so i was looking that i will be a i will prove myself good and be a good teacher that's it right everybody please give a round of applause for sir she is good in confidence fluency and uh, she gives all as well was confident enough and there were few repetitions few that's repetitions all. were there according to my uh, evaluation uh, good entry not going left and right to more like that so it shouldn't be good uh, not proper uh, eye contact with the everyone when someone asking question then you will uh, like seeing on the single person no that she is managed right. initially, initially she managed initially she managed but uh, after uh, good fluency and good confidence my opinion is you are having good confidence sitting position is good but sometime using your hands like it may you should correct it body language is okay entry your entry is good i am talking about fluency your fluency is good grammar you did a little bit mistake but it's okay very nice very nice please pray hands together may i come in sir yes please Jain sir, Jain ma'am. So, what's your name, Dio? Uh, my name is Karthik Sharma. Please speak loudly. My name is Karthik Sharma. Karthik. So, Karthik, please tell me about yourself. Okay, so my name is Karthik Sharma. I'm 23 years old, and I recently completed my B.Tech in Computer Science Engineering from Galgodia University. Uh, my interest in the Air Force uh, sparked when I uh, played uh, military simulation games, and I were, uh, when I was preparing for uh, other various government exams. and when i was my interest in the air force uh, air force started a uh, spark when i started studying uh, for government exams and reading about uh, defense news and uh, new defense deals was the first thing that uh, uh, inspired me to uh, give the afcat exam and try to join the air, uh, <coughs> air force and uh, during the last couple of years i've been working out a lot uh, working out a lot and to maintain my physical health and boost my confidence uh, other than this my hobbies include uh, music production uh, playing military simulation game as i already said and programming first of all you should uh, feel comfortable i notice that you are in a position of uh, some pressure mm. some type of pressure mm. you should feel comfortable okay you are comfortable enough comfortable not yet but yeah well, you should try yeah So, uh, please tell me, what inspired you most towards defense? Uh, the main thing that inspired me, I would say, uh, would be playing military simulation games. Uh, I've been playing for like four years now, and uh, I've joined a lot of uh, lots of communities from around the world. Uh, the current community that I'm playing in uh, is in the U.S. and uh, military simulation. games uh, are uh, mostly rely on uh, simulating uh, real military stuff like uh, uh, like weapons and real air force systems uh, for example uh, we have a, a near to life replica of uh, so my next question is that uh, is there any other reason of your inspiration or it's a just game not just the game uh, for example i have it's not uh, I've not just applied for the Air Force. I have also applied for the uh, Navy uh, and SSC Tech. Then I gave my CDS exam recently, which I could not clear. And I also have my um, uh, CPU exam coming up. So I've always uh, liked Did defense organizations. <laughs> yeah. So that that's uh, that's the other main reason. <laughs> okay. Good. Now tell me about the theater commands. Did you ever hear these word theater commands? Uh, no sir, I have not heard about that word. Defense theater commands. No sir. You never hear this word. No sir. Okay. Uh, how can you overcome your fear and uh, what's your management style? Sir, you, uh, I don't exactly have a fear in me. It's it's usually just uh, 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 me being uh, either me being overconfident or underconfident. So what I usually do is I just try to calm my nerves. Like for example, if there's a situation where Uh, i think i might not be able to uh, be comfortable in i first of all i just try to calm my nerves and 
think it through like uh, these uh, these are the main things that i learned while playing military simulation games as i said before because uh, if you have to get in uh, if you get the position of an officer so in in those situations you have to keep your cool and think with a open mind who are your idols and why uh my idol is my dad i'll just make something up for now so my my idol is my dad because he's been working in the uh, indian army uh, he, he has spent countless of uh, he has spent countless years on uh, posted on borders and uh, uh, whenever i went to visit uh, him um uh, uh and i saw him uh, saw his life over there i was uh, really inspired because it's uh, very hard to survive uh, in those uh, in that climate so yes uh, my dad is my idol tell me about a time when you made a mistake in your job and uh, what you will do about a time that i made in your job sir i've actually never you made a mistake in the sense then how you will overcome so it uh, i think it depends on the mis uh, uh, and the type of mistake that i've done if it's um, if it's something that might get me court martialed then uh, i i don't think there is much i can do about it but if it's a small uh, small mistake like giving the wrong command or not thinking the situation through um, i might try to learn from the experience and uh, try to correct myself so mr can you please tell <coughs> me the five uses of this pen except writing in my time of using pens i can say we can use a pen as a bookmark sometimes so you can take the cap off and put it in uh, between pages and you can use it to uh, use it as a paper clip as well so if you have a bunch of papers you can just yeah so the second one is using it, uh, it as a paper clip first one was using it as a bookmark second bookmark. one is yeah and in, a paper clip in term of i think the both uses are same okay so if both uses are same then uh, i can say if like for example if i i don't know if i'm supposed to say this but i'll just say it for the fun i'll take it from john wick and i i'll say i can kill with this pen <laughs> i can use it use this pen as a weapon uh third use i would say you can just fidget around with it uh, if you're like sometimes people use these uh, small fidgeting things to calm their nerves uh fourth use would be to i can come up with uh, come up with more uses sorry you can use it as a straw no sorry i don't think we can use it as a straw uh, because it's only got uh, one hole at its end no no it has one hole this side on this side but that's unsanitary sir no i'm talking about the uses if you are in a if you are stuck in a situation hmm. if you are stuck in a jungle area hmm. forest area hmm. and you are in a mission then you really required a straw mm -hmm. at that moment of time you doesn't have any straw then you have your pan mm -hmm. and you are very thirsty mm -hmm. or maybe you are having try to having something and it's re really required a straw mm -hmm. and at that moment of time you have only pan then you thought about that is it sanit it is sanit uh, what hygiene then i would all. probably not think about anything as being sanitary so but yes then then i would probably use but so uh, making that kind of situation would be like <laughs> to no, yeah i am talking about the hmm. whole situations which may be happen or not be happen so mr kartik a am i right yes sir so do you know about uh, the origin of kartik a uh, i don't know the exact meaning but uh, no i am not asking about meaning i am asking about origin i think it's the name of uh, uh, lord shiva's son the elder son of lord shiva uh, what will be your great uh, achievement in future from this job my greatest achievement would be to uh, get the rank of a colonel because uh, i know uh, the post i've applied for uh, is short service commission and i know i'll be only working for 14 years but if uh, i ever get a chance to get that uh, uh, get get a permanent commission after 14 years uh, that would be my uh main goal things you like about india things i like about india is uh i think the uh most beautiful thing about india is its culture and its diversity so uh if you compare india to any other country you'll see uh, we have a lot of different communities so like uh people uh, sometimes segregate us as north east west and south but i would say it's uh, exactly 
if you go into any other state, uh, any different state in India, you'll see uh, a different community, uh, a different culture everywhere. So you. Uh, what about the things you don't like about it? There are not of, there are not, there are not a lot of things that I can think about right now that I hate about India. But uh, I would say I hate the uh, uh, climate because it's sometimes it's uh, in Delhi it's too cold, sometimes it's too hot. What do you think about if the word came in your mind is nationalism? When I think about nationalism, the only thing that comes to my mind is to is to die for your country. Is to okay and re regionalism. Regionalism. I would suggest uh, staying devoted to the region you are from. So my last question is that: uh, uh, Would you like to make some changes in our defense system when you will be a colonel? Uh, so I don't think uh, a colonel, uh, the rank of a colonel, has much say in the uh, forces. Okay, this might not be appropriate, but yeah. But the I think I would uh, change the uh, Agniveed scheme. That was introduced by the government because it's uh, it's taking stuff from the Western system of uh, military and it's trying to incorporate it uh, in our uh, in our country and I think it uh, the trauma that comes with it uh, uh, isn't supposed to be endured by anyone. So that I'll try to make changes in the uh, Agnivir scheme. Part two take a part of tough interview, but uh, yeah. tough interview. Uh, but he has no quality of uh, that interview. He have to make more effort in by for preparing that interview. Uh, as he stand there and uh, say Jai. But uh, he have to be in, in middle part and sit. And uh, his body language is so severing. His leg is going back. And uh, he has also a low confidence. Mm -hmm. As per my observation, low voice tone in starting years. and uh, closing eyes years. many times. <laughs> Neck going backward, forward like that. <coughs> okay. And uh, so sitting that position upper good. part was very good, but the lower part is not good. It was like that. It should be like that. And you are using uh, uh, mm -hmm. many times. Mm -hmm. Sometimes I was uh, going downwards mm. to the floor mm. and the speed was too much high, so you should work on, on it. Everyone have mentioned his entry was not good, okay, so and the second thing was he was swift with words and was fluent and sometimes he was not audible and was constantly looking up for him. I would suggest that if he would be more comfortable you should be ready for situational type of questions because it's up to not, not you it's up to the, the members who are sitting in the front of you at that time okay and your fluency is okay but you are not very clear about the topics even with the topics which are related to your core got it entry so mr sorrow tell me about tell me about yourself tell me about yourself Tell me about yourself. In district Jahanawad, I passed my matriculation in 2015 and got aggregate 84 percentage and intermediate from CBSC uh, from physics, chemistry and mathematics and got aggregate 61 percentage. I have also done uh, my graduation in 2021 and get uh, 70 percent and this is from mathematics honors. I am serving in Indian Army nowadays and uh, since uh, 2021. This was my first attempt and uh, I have cleared it in first attempt. I am also a regional level player in volleyball and uh, kabaddi also. And uh, in my family there are five mem members including me. That's about it. So Mr. Shorup, tell me what inspire you most for defense? <laughs> Sir, my father is also in Indian Army and uh, since childhood I have seen my father and uh, so his discipline and uh, his being socialist attract me a lot and uh, I am inspired by my uh, father. So I have also decided to join Indian Army and serve our country. If a person is not a soldier, I am talking about the individual, the common citizens of the India, how he serve his country? 
how he give contribution to serve his country as per you sir if uh, uh, we are talk, uh, we want i want to give an example and if uh, we are talking about a soldier if a soldier get injured in some wars or some battles conflict so he need to a doctor and uh, without doctor he can't uh, get uh, a fit for uh, serving country so doctor uh, contributes a great role in serving country we need also teachers so teachers we can also say that teacher also contribute you are talking about the professions <coughs> doctors engineers teachers <coughs> i am talking about a common citizen of india either maybe he is he is not be belongs from any job or any profession he is a common citizen like a villager how can he co contribute for nation if he is a good social person if he is uh, honest he uh, do his duty honestly it means that he is uh, he contribute uh, to serve his country and uh, he should contribute his paying taxes on the time sir he can participate volunteer for the government activities maybe some time of other activities regional activities maybe some social work at that type of uh, works he can contribute sir anyone uh what's your weakness sir i feel uh, i am weak in english spoken i am average in uh, english spoken and communicate myself and express my feeling so and uh, i also join some classes online class also and on leave i joined uh, offline class to improve my english communication as well as english speaking and uh, personality development so uh, this is my weakness and uh, another things i i get uh, frustrated while playing or uh, doing some activities with uh, with my team and uh, when uh, any players of my team are not performing according to my uh, expectation so i get frustrated soon so this is my weakness